In these first few clips, we're going to be using a dual web pulse laser retribution with conflag. The dual webs are going to allow us to apply really well, even with that conflag, which is a tracking negation there. And for our tank, we're going to have an ADCU and a small ancillary armor repair. In this first fight, we see three sliced members enter local. The only thing we know for sure that they have is the Astero, but we decided to sit around and see if they'll string into us. Here we see one of the reasons I'm always running the D-Scan while I'm in fights. I can look down and easily see that they're also bringing in a Crucifier Navy issue and a Dramiel. My goal now is to destroy the Astero before either of the others comes in. As long as we're fighting them all one by one, we have a really good chance of beating all three here. Likely surprised by the amount of damage that came in, the Astero forgot to bring out his drones and aggress them on me, and was likely busy trying to tank us. Here the Crucifier Navy is going to be sliding in. He could have a Tracking Disruptor, and with the Tracking Disruptor he's going to have one of two strategies here. He can either have Optimal Range Script and pull range, which could potentially cause us some problems with actually hitting him. Or he could, as he's doing now, try and get some Transversal on us with some Tracking Speed Disruption Script, which isn't going to work against the Dual Web Fit. The successful strategy that we used here was to burn our targets one by one as they came in and prioritize the targets between the Crucifier Navy issue and the Dramiel. By going after the Crucifier Navy issue, we removed the necessary support that the Dramiel would probably need to be able to bring us down. It was a good fight. In this engagement, there are three DRF Tristans that have been chasing us around trying to grab us. And we've been warping around, they've been trying to slide on us all together, and that would mean certain death for us. Our plan is to split them up by warps and gates, and hope that they'll come in at us one by one, just like the last fight. Where normally we'd be wanting to use Conflag, we'd just start keeping range at 7500 and start using some Gamma. The reason for this is we want to keep as much range from them as possible while DPSing them down so that they have uh, less of an ability to nude us, being past their nuke optimal range. With one of the Tristans down, our situation becomes much better. Although it's still kind of rough, as we can strong arm a single Tristan out past its newt range, we can't really keep both of them out there, so we have to try and drop this one really quickly, as happened, and then lay into the second one. With the second Tristan down, our capacitor is looking really bad, and we need to be able to push this Tristan off or kill it. Luckily, he's not, not actually staggering his newts, so we can get cat back bit by bit and then just start laying into him until he's either pushed it off or dies. He decides to warp here. This is why we're taking the gate on an Executioner, a Thrasher, and a Federation Navy Comet. Our plan here is going to be to do a little mini War of Attrition. We want to use our ADCU to be able to take enough DPS off field by the time uh, it's done that we can actually survive to remove the rest of the ships. We identify the Thrasher as being the ship with the most DPS for the least tank, and we decide to move in on that and try and take that down to help our chances. Thrasher dies, we have to make a decision between the Executioner and the Comet, and although the Executioner is going to have a weaker tank, the Comet is really close to us, and if that's a Blaster Comet, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Our Assault Damage Control Unit is just cycling off now, so we decided to dual web and pull away from that Comet a little bit to hopefully minimize a little bit of his damage while taking him down.
In this next clip, we're going to be using our Railgun Dual Web Scram Kiting Merlin uh, with the armor tank of a damage control, some transverse bulkheads, an AUGS nano pump, and a small ancillary armor repair, and a magnetic stabilizer for a little bit of extra DPS. The general idea with this fit, if you haven't seen my video on it, is to keep the target at about 7.5 to 8 kilometers and just pelt them from there. In this clip, I'm sliding on a Tristan and a Slasher. Our biggest threat is that Tristan. If that Tristan nudes us out, then it's game over. So what we really want to do here is to use our superior range control to pull range on that Tristan past its newt range if we have any chance of surviving. Having pulled past 7.5k, we pull past the effective range of the Tristan's newts and we can focus on the rest of the fight. 